Hi, my name's Amina and I teach Sociology and Criminology here at Clarendon Sixth Form College and I'm here to tell you a bit about the course. So with Criminology, we've got four units that we cover um, and you'll be assessed 50% controlled assessment and 50% exam. With Unit 1, we'll look at changing awareness of crimes. So we'll look at different types of campaigns that have uh, tried to propose changes to the law uh, for certain crimes and then we'll look at stuff like how the media has an impact on the representation of different crimes, we'll look at how some crimes are not reported by the police and by victims and we'll, uh, at the end of that unit we'll also get students to create a campaign, their own personal campaign for their controlled assessment. Students will then go on to make their own campaign uh, to change uh, or create further awareness of that particular crime so students can pick uh, crimes such as hate crime or domestic violence or even technological crimes. With Unit 2 what we'll cover is criminological theories and you'll get different aspects of psychology, sociology and a bit of law so if you are interested in those other subjects criminology is it has different aspects of that. So with criminology, uh, criminological theories we'll look at uh, why uh, cr criminals commit those crimes. Uh, so are they born deviant, are they born criminal or are there external factors that influence their behaviour to commit certain crimes. So from a psychological perspective we look at how the brain chemistry and chemical imbalances might influence uh, types of criminal behaviour um, and how maybe mental health disorders might also, uh, also be a reason for why people commit crime. From Unit 3, which will be in your second year, what we'll look at is the crime scene to the courtroom. So we'll look at uh, everything from the actual crime scene and then step-by-step -step processes into the courtroom. So we'll look at evidence from the crime scene and then how that has an impact on the punishment that would happen in the court. And that therefore links to Unit 4, which is crime and punishment. In this unit, we'll cover uh, different types of punishments for different types of crimes and we'll look at things like is prison effective, uh, why are ethnic minorities overrepresented in prisons and is the police um, underfunded and are they effective in tackling different types of crimes. Okay so some unique things about criminology here at Clarendon Sixth Form College is that we really want students to engage with other um, facilities outside of the school so for example we've had some guest speakers come in so an ex-offender who spoke about his criminal history um, and spoke about the life that he used to live and different ways to tackle uh, the crimes such as gang crimes and then we've also got um, trips where we get students to go to the courtroom so we see trials in action and different punishments that may be served. So skills that you'll build at Clarendon for criminology can help you progress into different careers such as civil service um, in terms of police work or even social work so work as a social worker or as a youth offender um, and with these skills uh, that you'll build at Clarendon will really benefit you when you go into those types of careers. Here at Clarendon um, it's quite a small college and so there's that community feel here. Um, as the classes are small you'll get that more one-to-one -one tuition to therefore help you build these skills in criminology. So if what I've said um, has uh, appealed to you and you do have an interest in studying criminology here at Clarendon please do have a look at the website um, to read more information about the unit and what we do uh, for criminology. Um, please don't hesitate to contact us um, and I wish to see you in the next year.